Happy Thursday, Calvary. It's great to see you. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about Proverbs chapter 4, and I want to focus on just uh, a few verses later in the chapter. In fact, verses 20 through 23. Uh, and, uh, but before we do that, and, and I'll just tell you, the focus is on guarding your heart. Now, we're really good at guarding some things in our lives. Uh, most of us are good at guarding our homes. Right? We protect our homes, we've got alarm systems on our homes, we've got security services, a lot of us have firearms to protect our, our family and our property. We, we guard our possessions in our garages. Uh, you know, it used to be that we had a, a, a home with a garage attached, now we have a garage with a home attached, but we got all kinds of cool toys and cars and boats and razors and, and stuff like that, motorcycles, all these different things that are valuable to, to us and we protect those, again, with uh, security services and alarms and, and locks. We protect our money. We put it in the bank. We have passwords to protect our online accounts. We have a safe that we can put money into that tries to keep people out. Uh, we protect our image. Uh, a lot of us care a little bit too much about our image and what things look like on social media, and so we try to make our lives look a little bit better than they actually are, but we want people to think highly of us, so we protect our image. So i got to ask you today, are you protecting your heart? Are you guarding your heart? Here's what Solomon says, beginning at verse 20 of chapter 4. He says, my, my child, be attentive to my words, incline your ear to my sayings, let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Keep your heart or guard your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Guard your heart. It is the wellspring. It is the source of your life. Uh, now he goes on in the, the ensuing verses to talk about the things that are dangerous to our heart. He talks about devious talk. He talks about wandering eyes. He talks about the slippery slope that will cause you to stumble. Uh, those are the dangers to our heart. And so if we want to live a life of wisdom, we have to guard our hearts. So let me ask you some questions this morning to uh, get you thinking about your heart and, and how you're guarding your heart. So, the uh, first question is this, what is corrupting your speech? What is corrupting your speech? What causes you to, to engage in what Solomon calls devious talk? Is it your friend group encouraging you to, to speak filth? Or is your friend group encouraging you to speak faith? Um, you know, the Apostle Paul said, don't be deceived, bad company corrupts good morals. And a lot of times uh, our language and our words reflect the values of the people that we're around, uh, which is why life groups are so important to our spiritual development, to be surrounded by Christian friends who are encouraging you, who love you, who will hold you accountable and uh, hopefully help you avoid that devious speech. So what's corrupting your speech? Second question, what is distracting your focus. What, what causes you to take your eyes off of Christ and put them on something else? Uh, is it pornography? When no one else is around and, and your mind wanders and you start uh, indulging in something that will destroy your soul. Is it hanging out in the channel on holiday weekends? It seems like every weekend now is a holiday weekend, doesn't it? Uh, is it filling your eyes with the things that take your mind off of Christ in purity? Uh, is it binge watching Netflix or Hulu? And, you know, the shows that are not really edifying for your soul, that plant ideas of dissatisfaction uh, with life, discontentment with the things that God has given you. Uh, all right, I'm just going to tell you this. One of the things that I rant about in my home, uh, because they're on a lot, are the Hallmark Christmas movies. Now, I know some of you are like, no, it's Hallmark Channel. Don't throw off on those Christmas movies. But have you ever noticed in a Hallmark Christmas movie that if, you, if uh, the star is in a long-term relationship, it's always toxic? And, and then they go back home and they meet their childhood sweetheart that was really perfect for them. And, and the idea that there's somebody better than who you have committed your life to, the idea that there's somebody out there who'll rescue you and be your soulmate and all that kind of garbage, uh, I just want to tell you that that's dangerous. So uh, what's distracting your focus? And then finally, what's causing you to stumble? What's causing you to lose your footing on the path to following Jesus? Uh, you know, or I could say who is causing you to stumble. But, uh, you know, what is it? Is it drinking too much? Is it engaging in, you know, illicit drug use or even legal drug use? 
Uh, is it your friend group again, you know, uh, that's focused on possessions or on their lifestyle or on success or on pride? Uh, but what is it that's causing you to lose your footing? You see, we need to ask ourselves these questions regularly if we want to guard our heart. Because your heart is the wellspring of your life. It's where God wants to bless you so that you can bless others and live in that blessed life. And by the way, I'm just going to close with this. If you don't guard your heart, who will? I hope you have a great day pondering these questions. God bless.